Welcome to Subaru ECU Flash Training Part 7. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with our Carberry ROM. A Carberry ROM is going to be an enhanced ROM file for our 16-bit Subaru applications that's going to allow us to do a lot of additional features and functions that Subaru never has designed or intended the ECU to actually operate within. One example is going to be something like FlexFuel. We're able to add on a FlexFuel sensor into our ECU and then utilize that for doing a full FlexFuel style tune. So we're going to be breaking down what the Carberry ROM represents, some of the features and functions within the ROM, and then taking a look at how to open up the ROM file properly within ECU Flash. There's going to be some tricks that I'm going to be introducing here in this training tutorial that's going to make sure you open it and edit it properly. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our Carberry ROM within our 16-bit Subaru applications. Our Carberry ROM is an enhanced ROM file. We have a lot more tuning capability with our Carberry ROM opposed to working with the factory Subaru ROM that you would read out of your ECU. Now the Carberry ROM is gonna be limited to the year Subaru WRX it's going to be working with. So in the USDM market, the 02 to 03 WRX is gonna be the, the, the ROM or the ECU type it supports. If you have an 04 to 05 WRX, you're gonna to have to swap in the 02 to 03 ECU in order, order to work with a Carberry ROM, which is definitely something that you probably wanna consider doing um, based on how much structure and how much advanced features this ROM has. Now, if we're working with a European domestic market Subaru, it's gonna only support a 2001 to 2002 WRX. If we're in the Asian domestic market, it's gonna be 01 to 02 WRX. And in the JDM market, it's gonna be the 02 to 04 STIs. So the Carberry ROM is gonna be essentially standardizing the tuning process on the older 16-bit ECU, ECUs across a huge market share of the, of the WRXs and the Subarus in general. So we'll find it is going to be essentially the standard ROM, an enhanced ROM that you would wanna run for all the applications, to, to, to regardless of whatever your market's going to be. So the Carberry ROM is very, very desirable to use as we're gonna find here in this training tutorial. Let's go in and take a look at a few things before we start to talk about the Carberry ROM. We actually have to go in and uh, add XML code into our folder structure in order to even open it up and take a look at it. Because if you've installed your ECU Flash software out of the box, you can read and you can write with your factory Subaru definitions because th those will all be defined within our ROM structure within ECU Flash as it sits. But if we wanna work with Carberry, we have to introduce some XML code and we'll learn how to do that in this training tutorial. So let's go in here and I'm going to minimize ECU Flash. We have our ECU Flash Subaru folder here. Let's double click it and open it up. Within the folder, we're gonna find here that we have a bunch of different subfolders. Now we're gonna find a folder labeled sample ROM files. When we click on this, we're gonna find we have a few different files here loaded. Now there's probably gonna be some more file examples as the course is released, this is just the bare bones I have for right now in our filming purposes. So we can see here at the very top, there's a 2003 WRX sample file. This is a bone stock 2003 WRX, just a read file that I did out and I saved it. It's not enhanced, it's just a basic file that ECU Flash will open up right out of the gate here. So let's actually go and bring our ECU Flash up. We can open up that specific file in ECU Flash by going into our open folder here. So file open, and then we can see I'm in my ECU Flash Subaru course folder under sample ROM files subfolder, and then I can grab that particular file. That was just the file we were looking at on my desktop. So if I click open here, it'll open up the file. We can see in our current ROM metadata here, all of that XML code has been defined. I can open up these parameters and take a look at them and start to work with them right off the bat. So I don't need to do anything additional to work with my stock ROM files. However, if I wanna open up a Carberry-based ROM, these are going to be here, if we slide this down, these are gonna be these additional files that we find in here. So there's a load-based Carberry ROM, there's a map speed density-based Carberry ROM, and then I have these two other examples here. Um, these are gonna be something we talk about a little bit later in the training course, but they're still based on the Carberry ROM. So we're finding we have some additional examples that we can work with. So let's bring this up here. Now, if I go in and try to open up a Carberry ROM right now, I'm gonna find that the ECU Flash software doesn't have the proper XML code defined and it won't be able to interface in the software here. Even though the file exists, we don't have the XML code injected into the background subfolders for ECU Flash to work with it. Let's go and see what happens here. If we go to File Open and we grab one of our other options that we have here. So let's grab Carberry, Map Sensor, Speed Density, Type ROM, and we click Open. 
Notice it gives me an unknown ROM image. That's because we're lacking the XML definition code in the background subfolders. We need to define that. So that's the first step in evaluating and take a look at a Carvera ROM to even open. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.